Art confirms a free mind. Creativity confirms a psyche devoid of restriction. Creation confirms a conscious decision to act. The human experience is characterized by a word, routine. Awake, we work, study, love, cry, eat, drink, live in unison with humanity. Asleep, we dream, rest, let the subconscious take over. But discontinuity and routine gives human life significance. A conscious decision is made. An entity separates themselves from the homogenized crowd of blank faces. One being takes the road less traveled. The world opens to them, and only them. Perspective is gained. An outsider looks in. Reflection is born from inconsistency. Reflection is translated through creativity. Reflection is shared with society, and humanity is exposed to idiosyncrasy. The individual has a name, but no identity. Hiding behind the looking glass they have created, showing humans to humans, men to men. A prophet to some, a heretic to others, but a man nonetheless. This messenger harnesses the power of isolation, recognizes the beautiful siren that is reality, exposes her for who she truly is, and paints her in a masterpiece as the cruel mistress she embodies, callous, violent, and unforgiving. The artist sees a world the mundane man does not, the real world, one full of hatred and beauty, violence and peace, never balanced, always skewed, uneven, incongruent. He paints a picture, writes a passage, acts a scene, and suddenly the blind can see. Suddenly humanity has a mirror. But only those who accept their reflection can truly grow. Only those who acknowledge the truth can be enlightened. Some may attempt to break the mirror, destroy the face looking back at them, but the deed is done, the work is complete, the message has been sent, and the messenger has been shot. Put to earth, the individual sinks back into obscurity, commemorated in broken marble, immortalized in a spotless mirror, hated eternally by those too stubborn to see, venerated eternally by those humble enough to accept. He died as he lived, broken, sequestered, but alive.